Hello, the pilot team is here in Toronto at the Chess Annual Conference, and I'm here with Dr. Sandra Adams. Um, Dr. Adams, I hear there's been a couple of interesting presentations on NTM. Can you give us a brief overview for those folks who did not make the conference this year? Absolutely. Went to a session earlier today where there were three cases presented on NTM. Turns out that cavitary disease in NTM is a big problem, which we all know. Turns out that if you have greater than two centimeter cavitary lesions, those are the ones that really need IV amicacin. And as we all know, there's a lot of issues with IV amicacin with hearing and other toxicities. So the idea is when can we use other antibiotics and especially inhaled? We know that there's actually an inhaled amicacin coming out that is not just the formulation where they have the um, you know, the IV formulation inhaled, but it turns out that this is studied and purified for that. The studies are ongoing, they're coming out, and it looks like it's going to be a much safer way to give amicacin in those smaller cavitary lesions. We also learned that it's really important if somebody has significant cavitary disease, especially if it's not spread throughout both lungs, that we go to surgery and get our surgical colleagues involved early on. In addition, we know that if you give only one or two antibiotics with NTM, that that's a really dangerous thing to do because of the resistance that forms.